Hey, sweeties. Today, we are talking about caraway cookware versus beautiful by Drew Barrymore. That's right. Caraway cookware versus beautiful by Drew, the head to head battle. We'll talk about the similarities, the differences, and we'll find out if one is better than the other. But first, please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. And now let's get into the battle. Caraway versus Beautiful by Drew Barrymore. Awesome. Now I reviewed Caraway Cookware, the full set in, I think the color is called Cream, here on the channel uh, last year or the year before. I was not happy with it because it stained on the outside so badly and I could not get it clean. Only after a couple of months use, I always wanted to give it another try, maybe in a darker finish. And so that's what I did. I bought the Caraway Cookware 4.5 quart saute pan with lid in the color Sage. Now, not long after Caraway Cookware was released, and Caraway Cookware is there was to begin with direct to consumer. Uh, so you would order from the Caraway Cookware website, but now you can purchase Caraway Cookware through Target, through Amazon, and they also have some special sets through Crate and Barrel. Not long after Caraway Cookware came out and was very popular, a very similar looking saute, covered saute pan came out. This one is Beautiful by Drew Barrymore, sold exclusively through Walmart. Now, some might call it a dupe. A, um, I won't say copy, I won't say that, but it looks <laughs> strikingly similar to the Caraway cookware that was released before it. Now, there are some differences. Let's go back to the beginning, to the unboxing. Um, you can see the difference in quality in the packaging. When I purchased the Caraway cookware, you know, it comes in a very secure, thick cardboard box. It's got a little care pamphlet with it. Comes in these pretty um, bags, dust bags, reusable bags. Um, so you can see the level of care was a little different than with Beautiful by Drew, which ordered from Walmart online and came in a larger box. Not a whole lot to talk about in the way of packaging with this Beautiful by Drew Barrymore 5.5 quart saute pan. Well, let's talk about what both of these are. They're both aluminum. They're made out of aluminum, but they are coated with ceramic, making them non-stick, non-toxic. They both come with the lid with that stainless disc at the bottom. It is induction, electric, and gas friendly. Beautiful by Drew. Also, aluminum with, aluminum core, they call it, with a ceramic coating with that disc at the bottom the look of the beautiful by drew very similar to the caraway but now here's how they are different caraway cookware this is a 4.5 quart saute pan this beautiful by drew is a 5.5 quart saute pan covered saute pan both of them but you get more space in the beautiful by Drew. So this is larger, but it is much lighter. The caraway cookware with the lid weighs in at about 6.88 pounds. The beautiful by Drew with the lid weighs in at about 4.79 pounds. So smaller caraway cookware, but lighter beautiful by Drew. So you have more materials going into a smaller space. Both pans and lids are oven safe. The Caraway oven safe up to 500 
and 50 degrees. The Beautiful by Drew Barrymore is oven safe up to 500 degrees. Let's talk about the biggest difference, which is price. The Caraway Cookware 4.5 quart covered saute pan costs at the time I filmed this, $145. Yeah, I mean, it's not, <laughs> it's not cheap. The Beautiful by Drew Barrymore, 5.5 quart covered saute pan is $59 on Walmart, at Walmart. At the time I filmed this. Huge difference in the price. You can get the Look for Less with Drew Barrymore or the original with Caraway. What are you gonna choose? But we'll see when we start cooking with them, how do they uh, cook, do they cook evenly? Um, we'll put it to the test right now. Let's fry a couple of eggs. We're gonna cook both. We'll set to medium and this is not at all scientific because I don't have the capability here to measure exactly how uh, many BTUs each one of these burners is putting out. We we'll use this thermometer to check the temperature. That one is at 156. This one is at 133. All right, going to 140. I'm going to turn the temperature down on the um, Beautiful by Drew because, as I suspected, because we have the, you know, less materials, a lighter pan, it's heating up a lot quicker. Even though I turned the beautiful pan down, it's still heating up faster than the caraway cookware. Now we're gonna fry eggs with no oil because that is a request that I get all the time when I'm testing non-stick skillets. I usually do not fry my eggs with no oil, but here we go. And let's see how they cook and if they stick. Let's speed the process up a little bit, but you can see there's no sticking in either pan. They both did just fine. Our next test will be a little veggie and egg fried rice. Let's get some oil in those pans, just a little bit. Our veggies are already chopped up, broccoli, carrots, and some green onion. It's a real clean out the fridge kind of a meal. So great sizzle, and again, both of these, they're on like medium low heat. I'm gonna turn that one down a little bit too, but this is still cooking much hotter, much faster. Our veggies are looking good, taking on a little color, sliding around with no problem, and very little oil. That was the beautiful by Drew Barrymore, and this one, is caraway looking good let's move those veggies to the side and add some egg scrambled egg and this is one of the reasons why i love a big saute pan look at that you can use it almost like a flat top griddle push these over to say the cooler side of your pan Get those eggs in. Let's see. And this is still with just that teaspoon, a couple of teaspoons of oil. Looking good so far. With a quick scramble, we're going to do the same thing and move it over to the side of the pan and make room for our rice. 
I think I will add a tad bit more oil to get our rice going, but let's move that over to the side. So one thing, you know, that sort of inch of difference in diameter makes a big difference when you're cooking because you have so much space in the pan to cook a big one pot meal. And that's really how I like to cook. Let's get our day old rice. We'll put a couple of cups in there. Couple in there. And if you have a clump in there, these silicone bags make it easy to break it up without getting your hands all in the rice. And use the back of your spatula to push it down if you have any clumps in there. And if you're not washing it closely, things can go <laughs> bad real fast. I find like with this thin skillet, see our eggs are starting to take on a darker color, maybe a little darker than I wanted. But in the beautiful, in the uh, caraway, the color was held a lot better. It didn't, I didn't have to keep as close an eye on it because it's got a a heavier, a denser quality to it. It's not thin, it's not heating too quickly, or and it doesn't have hot spots as the beautiful by Drew seems to. Grab some soy sauce, some sesame oil. This is two teaspoons of less sodium soy sauce. That's where our salt's gonna come. You know, more or less to taste. However you like it, I'm gonna turn that way down because we're just about done. Head over to our other pan. Soy sauce. Oop, now I'm making a little bit of a mess. That's okay, I'll have my assistant clean it up. Kidding. <laughs> and just a little swirl of sesame oil. And that's done. And they both did a good job. Like I said, you know, you just have to keep an eye on this uh, beautiful by Drew Cookware because it gets real hot real fast. You re medium heat is as high as you want to go because this it, it's it gets hot. <laughs> it gets super super hot, and if you're not paying attention, you're gonna burn your food. The caraway cookware. It's a heavier pan, more materials. It doesn't heat up as fast, but it heats evenly, holds the heat fairly well, and. It does a great job. So it's a, it's a better quality pan for sure. But you pay for that quality. It's just up to you to decide if you think it's worth paying more than twice as much. No sticking in either pan. So, I mean, both pans pass this test. I wouldn't have a problem really with either one at this stage. We've got some sausages browning in the beautiful saute pan as well as in the caraway saute pan. And you'll notice I've had to turn the heat down on the beautiful saute pan because it was getting too hot too fast and we don't want to burn our food and I have the heat a little higher up to medium on the uh, caraway 
nicely browned. We've added some meatballs and some pasta sauce. We're gonna see which one of these stands up better to a red sauce. We'll see if either of them stains on the inside or the outside. When I tell y'all I like a one pan meal, I am not kidding. This is another clean out the fridge meal with some zucchini I had um, sitting in the fridge for a few days. Some meatballs I had in the freezer. And we're gonna mix that in, let that simmer, and then I'm gonna add some fresh spinach and let that wilt down, some cheese on top. And dinner's gonna be done. And that's one of the reasons I love these large capacity saute pans. You can do a, a meal for a family of four or five or six people in one shot. It's kind of a one pan meal because I did boil the pasta separate. But honestly, I could have boiled the pasta in this pan and then drained it. You know what I mean. We've got our spinach added. We're going to cover those pans up and let the spinach wilt. Then add some cheese and we'll pop it in the oven and dinner will be ready. Please always use oven mitts or some kind of protective glove when you're dealing with pans on your stove. I did notice that the caraway cookware handle got hotter on the stove top and in the oven and stayed hotter longer than the beautiful cookware. We've got our pasta in the caraway cookware and pasta in the beautiful cookware. And oops, I got a little sauce on both of them. This handle stays hot. <laughs> a little sauce there, a little sauce there. So we will see how these pans clean up right after dinner. Let's start by washing the caraway cookware. We've got some tomato sauce baked on the outside and cooked on the inside. And we're just using a, a cloth to wash in warm soapy water, hand wash. Caraway is hand wash only because the dishwasher um, can wear away that uh, nonstick coating quite quickly. And the caraway cookware cleaned up easily with just soapy water. Nothing is sticking badly. We're just gonna wash it right out. Now onto cleaning the beautiful by Drew. We're gonna do the same thing with some warm soapy water. Now the packaging on the beautiful by Drew pan did say that it was dishwasher safe. I'm gonna continue to hand wash it. It hand washes super easy. Nothing is sticking and hand washing will just help extend the life of the non-stick coating. After washing and drying this beautiful saute pan, I did notice that the lid had already lost some enamel. I don't know if it happened in chipping or during the time that I've had it. I've only had it for a couple of days. Very disappointing. The caraway cookware looks good as new. Perfect, no problem so far. Well, what did you think about that? It's caraway cookware, heavier, more materials. I think better quality at $145 versus Beautiful by Drew. Less expensive, just as pretty, I think it even, it's kind of prettier with the gold handles. That's just right up my alley. Less expensive, just as beautiful, but you're getting a lower quality, not quite as well made as the caraway. What do you think? You're paying more for caraway cookware, but you are getting better quality with the beautiful by drew it's the look for less but you're you're not getting the quality you're not getting the durability uh like i said the enamel is already wearing off on this beautiful by drew so i'm gonna say buyer beware remember keep that heat medium to low so that you don't scorch your food and that's with both of them i'm gonna keep cooking with these and we're gonna see how they do over the months 
and we're going to show you again head to head each time. So please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and y'all have a delicious day.